pulled me to, I think. And here we here we go. It's doing a doing a thing. Oh boy. Oh. Oh my. Was that very controlled? I'm I'm very concerned that that was not as controlled as it said it would be. Hello friends and family, my name is Skylint and welcome to my first look at Terra Nil, which is a reverse city builder about ecosystem reconstruction. So often these type of titles are a little bit more nuanced, uh, definitely nitty gritty, often very complex, maybe overly complex, overly harsh, and focus on just absolute conquest of people and of the planet. But this time, we're doing that in reverse and actually serves a potent moral for me as someone who just passed their year mark at, from becoming a vegan. So I'm proud of myself, but I also just want to say I'm very proud of many other people who made the switch since COVID, especially becoming more aware of our environmental impact and how we can shape it, change it, do less harm, and maybe even do some good. And I think a game like this is also a great way to get people into concepts of being kind to one another and being kind to the planet that we live on. So I'm actually covering this game as part of Steam's Next Fest. There's tons of demos that really promote indie games, and if your indie game needs promotion, trailers, a website created, or some sort of help publishing it to the internet and getting it out there in front of eyeballs, I'll definitely help you with that. Let's develop a virtual community, and let's collaborate, let's co-op. So, links in the description for that, or you can email me. But without further ado, you want to know what Terra Nil's all about, so let's go ahead and let's have some fun. All right, friends and family, welcome to Terra Nil. This is going to be a first look for a demo. Just keep that in mind, and I think we're going to have some fun. So, it's going to generate a map, and past that, I have no idea what to expect. We're going to be in this together, hopefully in real time, all together, having a good time. But, I'm really excited to look into ways that they show different technologies, or even theoretical technologies, that can be used to, I don't know, landscape. So, it looks like we're starting from a completely barren world, which might not, it might not, yeah, that might not be too uh, sci-fi actually coming soon, but okay, your goal is to rejuvenate the wasteland by covering the landscape and greenery. So we're starting from basically nothing, it looks like, and this seems to be a smaller map. I think it might be devolved into levels, or maybe this will widen up. Maybe this is a fog of war, I'm not sure. Before you begin, try painting by moving your mouse. Oh, I did that. Look at that. Moving it around. Everything's working pretty good. Tutorial as hell. Okay. You can also pay in with WASD. Nice, nice, nice. Everything's working good. Try zooming out and in. Nice. <laughs> Just giving us a nice little tutorial. Honestly, a couple other games need that, like Roller Coaster Tycoon. So, And then we're going to start with a wind turbine, which I'm assuming, yep, it's going to generate electricity, which is what we're going to need for all the other cool tools and stuff. And wind turbines need to go on rocks. So here we go. The first rule. Um, I'm a little worried that it looks like maybe this is going to take up a, a decent amount of space. I think I could put it right here pretty safely. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to slap it here. I'm not sure. Is it is Does that take up the block behind it as well? We'll have to find out. But anyways, we have electricity. And now that you have power, you can clean the soil. So, oh, that's right. Soil actually gets very dirty or it lacks nutrients sometimes. So to keep that in mind, areas around volcanoes are incredibly nutrient rich. Uh, otherwise, deserts, obviously not. So, and there's toxin scrubbers. So it looks like this was potentially a post-apocalyptic scenario that we're looking at and how we can recover from this. So, um, and it needs to be by the turbine. So I think right here is a pretty nice spot. I'm not really sure the rules of the, of the game, so. Oh, wow. Animations and everything are really clean. Really cool. And so it wants us to build a couple of these. Um, I, oh, I like how it says you can't destroy a tree. That's something that is so easily done in Roller Coaster Tycoon. You just clear entire forests. But we don't really want to do that in this game. So, yeah. I don't know. Should I be neat and just stack them all together? Maybe? Oh, no. Actually, that was that was bad. Um, That wasn't as worthwhile as it could have been. Oh, I see. So really, since these are... Actually, is there undoes? Oh, there's undoes. At least one undo. So this one goes in that direction. And really, I would want this one, like, over here. Like, as far away as possible. Kind of, sort of, a little bit. So, I guess we're going to do this one. So now this is all clean. And maybe the goal is to have this entire thing green. So I might have messed up a little bit there. I don't know. But anyways. Okay, now I'm starting to learn. Starting to learn and stuff and things. So... Here we go. And then the fourth one, I will place up here. This seems like a decent spot. Don't see why not. And there we go. Now we have some rich soil. Clean soil provides perfect place to grow greenery. Place three irrigators on the clean soil. They can be rotated with the mouse, wheel, or R. So irrigation. See, again, I don't quite know the rules of this. So there's actually plus, minus five, plus 
Oh, so we want as much green as possible. So we got plus 73 was the highest that I saw. It's going to be plus 73, probably. It's going to be plus 73. Uh, almost certainly. So plus 73. Where was that? Plus 73 was right here. That's probably the most amount of land that is irrigated. And oh, wow. I really like these animations. And it looks like maybe we're supposed to place a couple of these. So I'm um, kind of a little bit wasteful. Also, I can't see because of that menu. Maybe a little bit wasty. Um, maybe it's not really going to mine too much. Maybe I should have had two 80s instead of... Well, anyways, we're going to have more grass later. So we're just going to go ahead and do this for now. Or it wants me to place three. So I guess we're just going to place three arbitrarily. Like, I don't really know. So and then um, right here seems pretty good, too. Uh, hopefully, whenever grass does grow over here, that'll be fine. Okay, increase the greenery in the landscape, get the greenery to target to 25%. And I guess, uh, here we go. We just do this. So, little tutorial, easy. We know what to do. We got it. Place a couple of these. We do have a lim limited amount of green, whatever that means. Oh, that's the puzzle. So, within this constraint of the currency, we gotta reach a certain goal. I think is how this works. So, this pretty much covers, like, everything. So, I'll do that. And then I can do another one here. And then this, I can do like one here. And then one like right about here-ish. Feels good, feels good, feels good, feels good. I can cover, oh, I can cover a lot of land now. Oh, so this irrigator actually didn't continue to irrigate. So you really want to place these last, actually. Does it? No, we're, we're doing we're doing uh, nature stuff. We're doing nature-y nature things. And there we did it. We have enough green for it to be considered uh, done. Or at least the zone. Apparently it turned... Uh, is it opening it up? Is the world opening it up? Is this just, just the beginning? Wouldn't that be crazy if that was just the end of the tutorial? Alright, you're done. You did it. Terra Nil. No, I'm pretty sure... Here we go. Okay, we're getting a lot of new stuff. A lot of fun about to happen. So what is this? A water pump. It provides water in channels or rivers. So I can probably place this here. Yeah, I can place this here. I think I want to place it uh, right here, maybe. No, right here, right here. Does it matter? Maybe it doesn't matter. Well, let's just let's just do it. So how far does that fill? Oh, and it creates grass all around it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, wait what is this? There's uh, degrees, 100%. What does that mean? Okay, stuff and things to learn. And what are you? A calcifier? Whoa, 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 a calcifier. Whoa, whoa, what? This burns things. Does it? Crystallizes nearby greenery by creating rock. Oh, this is where things could get dangerous. Because we're kind of really mixing technology and industry with the nature. There might be things that hurt nature, but then can help it, potentially. Because it's helping the industry that helps the nature. Oh, boy. Okay. So, I can... It requires water, but I can create rocks. And we need rocks in order to expand electricity. Anyways, I see more spots I can actually place for the electricity. So I guess we just kind of slowly expand. Doesn't seem like a big problem. This is, you know what? I don't want to say it's easy, but you know, I got this. Yeah, 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 that feels good. This feels good. Yes, okay, but so by creating more green, we get more green points, which lets us build more. I'm not exactly sure how that's working, what's like the physics behind that, but we do need to build more channels. So we need at least a channel that goes this, like in this direction. So, how do we do that? That means we need rock, so we need a calcifier, like, okay, so we need rock over here. So right here, do some rock, and then we can kind of slowly build over. So now we could build this, oh yeah, we need some more green space, let's get the green space going boys. I think I'm getting the flow, I think I'm getting the hang of it. I think you really want to build two of these though. Or like just just in general more. I don't I don't really know. And how to build um more rocks? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, okay. So I'm already kind of incentivized. I kind of want to build a, a a water that goes this way actually, but it's gonna poison the land around me. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, I kind of want this here. So this I hope it goes in that direction. So this shoots and it carves that, but it did poison this land. So that kind of sucks. But now I can build more stuff. Okay, so here's a calcifier. Uh oh, we're running out of green. Does that mean I'm going to lose? I'm straight up just about to lose. No, no, no. <sighs> Freaking freckle dackle. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ooh, you can minus points too. This is spooky. And poison. Oh, man. Okay. Is the, ga is the game coming to life? 
Are we feeling it? Are we feeling it? Can I? Okay, so I can't. Yeah, I have to do this. So I need it to be at least above. Uh oh. I have to be a restart, actually. It seems to be the case. Um, unless there is a way to. I don't think that this will just. Oh, wait. Maybe this counts positive based on already the cost of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and just try to place it. So if there's any sort of positive, then, like, it's good. Probably. Maybe. So. Oh, yeah. I can actually put it where it's already green. 28. 15. 28 was the biggest, most that I could do. Gonna need a lot. Gonna. I'm gonna need a lot. So 28 was the most. Which was like around here. That was not negative. Okay, 25 is good. Does it give me 25? Okay. So there we go. There we there we go. Okay, so let we gotta do it slow and steady, guys. We gotta win this race. Mm-hmm. So let's build that. 50. And then it's not over yet. We can keep going. We can keep it coming. 71. Ooh, baby. 71 feels good. Let's get that 71. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're, we're still in this. We are still in this. And I can build this one rightish here. And then I think I can build one of these and get a lot of points. Yeah. So combo. Oh, right there, baby. So you really want to put two if you can afford it. So don't go into like a too big of a deficit. That's for sure. And this is so calm. This is so relaxing. What is it, 114? Wow, I thought we were going to have to restart, but um, you know what? Maybe hope is never lost. Maybe there's always a chance. 106. So it's just math. It's just really kind of simple. You have success every positive. We did it! We, we reached 100%. It was actually really close, though. It was kind of hard, maybe. Nice. And then, whoa, 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 what is this? Now there's different tab. Whoa, this game just got way cut. Wait, hold up. So the game was like, okay, this is pretty chill. This is pretty zen. And I still think it is. There's no time limit. Um, But there's just complexity. What? Cover of each one needs to be restored of the different biomes? Oh, oh, the different biomes. So like swamp, um, forest, and meadows. Wow. Okay, so this demo is actually pretty deep. Definitely. So we have a research center. Reduces the cost of scrubbers, pumps, cal we need all of that. We need all of that. Because um, we're having some big issues here. And makes excavators smaller. So, a research center. I guess this can just go anywhere, really. So, I guess we'll go ahead and put it in the science zone, probably. Um, and I might actually carve up there. Can I actually... I'm, yeah, I'm going to put this, like, right about here. Nice. Okay, so we got a research center. And now we have um, Hydroponium. Creates wetland. Creates wetland. We do need wetland. I'm probably jumping the gun with this, but we do need it. So where does it... Where, wait, where does this go? Can only be built on an irrigator near water. On an irrigator. On an irrigator. Irrigator. Do we have an irrigator? Irrigator. Do I got irrigators? Do I already have irrigators, don't I? Oh, it means this. These things. Near water. So here, so that's plus 8. This is plus 53. Plus 4. We'll probably do with a plus 53. Oh, and only one by near water. So this is the one to do it. So this is going to turn into a swamp? Whoa! Oh, that's so cool! I grew up in the swamp. I love I love the swamp. And we can actually put beehives and things, too. Wow, I'm so zenning with this. An arboretum? I need to actually go to my local arboretum. Uses nutritious ash to create forests. Can only be built on a burnt building husk. That is something I am not ready for yet. Start a controlled burn. Yeah, this is the scary stuff. Okay, wow. A solar amplifier. Allowing for the lighting of fires. Okay, so those two are going to be combined together. I'm going to go ahead and keep expanding, I think. I think we do need some more expansions. But it looks like we're focusing on swamps, maybe. What's the beehive do? They pollinate nearby greenery, creating flowers? It just does stuff and things? Okay, so I'm going to place this and it just does stuff. Whoa! Wait, I'm kind of like in love? That's awesome. And I can place one here. So I'm just getting a lot of points. Hopefully it's not doing anything ridiculous or damaging. Seems like it's this is doing, this is doing good work. I'm getting a lot of juice for this. Nice. Terrified. I don't exactly know where this is going to affect. 
what it is going to affect. I am terrified for my home, my planet. There it is. I got a solar panel and now I can do a controlled fire, which burns stuff and things. And then I can build an arboretum on the ash of these things. And I'm going to do this because it told me to, it told me to, I think. And here we, here we go. It's doing a, doing a thing. Oh boy. Oh, oh my. Was that very controlled? I'm, I'm very concerned that that was not as controlled as it said it would be. All right, so we now we have three of these. So we have enough meadows, but we need more swamp. So how did we do swamp? It was this thing. It was one of these by water. Oh, so I might have to build one by water. Easy does it, guys. Easily. Oh, but it might cost two. Oh, it actually goes in the negative. Okay. Oh, okay. Things are a little more complicated now, possibly. Possibly. Um. Maybe. Maybe I can make this work. Okay, so I can make, get it to a zero, a plus six, plus 20, plus 24, 35, 24. A 53 is pretty good. 53 is pretty good. 67 is even better though. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, well we can, do I even need, wait, do I even need, yeah, I, do, I need green space for this. So, I guess plus five is fine, whatever. It's not negative, so. Okay, and now that that's by the water, I can do this, which is a plus 70, it's only plus 13, plus 70 is really good. So there we go. And then we got more swamp. Yeah, we're, t oh man, I love it. I'm feeling it. That's not by water. Ooh, okay. So I definitely mismanaged a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. Can I actually do it here? No, negative 39. Just kind of seeing where things plop. I do like that they have the numbers clearly illustrating what is good, what's bad, what's gonna work out, what probably isn't gonna work out, you know. Stuff and things like that. Uh-huh. And then if we do a straight line, 49, 55, 50, 52, 51. Does that count as close enough? Uh, kind of, but it would actually reduce our nature. So it is a balancing act, for sure. Okay. So it looks like we're gonna have to make a lot more room, a lot more space when it comes to, um, you know, how we, how we try, how we attempt to do swamps. Actually, I think if I do this, oh no, that poisons the land around me. But if I, I can carve like this, I can make, oh man, it's just, it's just a little awkward is all. Just a little, a little bit awkward. It wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if it's on the fringes. Actually, you could build on the fringes and, pay, and point it inward. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Actually, if I point it this way, I think I could turn that one into a swamp. So I think this should be kind of fine. I think, yeah, this should be totally, maybe, kind of. What happens when I do this? It's gonna shoot and then, I wanna see if this allows me to do this now. Oh, okay, that needs water, sorry. That needs water. And there is, I could do it right here, somehow. Pump it full of water. And then can I do this? Yeah, and this turns it to plus 40. And there we go, they've got some swamp. Oh, we're actually doing it. Cute. What do you guys think? It's just so calm. I mean, I don't even need to be talking during this, right? You can just jam along to your, with yourself. And there we go, we completed meadows and swamp. Unless swamp needs a little bit more. It actually might, because it doesn't have a check mark. So, rest in peace, I guess, I don't know. Can I do one of these? Oh yeah, this is bad. Um, oh, I could do one of these here. And then do another one, which was a horrible idea. Completely bad, bad, bad idea. Yeah. But, you know, we're gonna do it. There we go, now it's checked. We got all the swamp we need. Okay, we, get, we got plenty more. So now we just gotta do another forest, which I guess should be over here. Actually, we're just gonna burn this. We're just gonna burn this and see what happens. Yeah? Let's just burn this and see what happens. So let's do let's do the solar. Let's do the freaking solar thing and uh controlled fire, just do it. You know what? Who cares? Just do the controlled fire and we'll do an arboretum on whatever is remaining. You know? Let's let's just see what happens. Oh goodness. Oh my. This is uh 
This is pretty sketchy. This is... Um, oh no. Oh my. Well, I mean, this is like big points though. Oh, we're losing green. Oh boy. It's not going up for 168, so here we go. And we did it! No, we actually did it! And then we have access to more technology! How long is this demo? So this just keeps going, doesn't it? Wow, we have like rain environments and all sorts of stuff. What is this? A recycling drone? So we have airships and things? This just keeps coming. It just keeps going and going. What zen? Alright, let's keep it, let's keep it coming. Always. So now we have new technology. So a lot of the world is kind of messed up. And it looks like we now have a new goal of percentage of buildings that have been recycled and loaded into the airship. Gonna need some buildings recycled. Oh, wait. I guess that makes sense. We're kind of here to terraform and then go away, I guess. That's pretty interesting. Uses water and wetland to increase humidity, but wasteland decreases it. Interesting. So we, we are literally going to be changing the weather. But, okay, so the first thing is an airship. Allows for the construction of the airship with materials recycled from other structures. And it must be built on a riverbank. So I guess we're going to start this. We've got this big thing, which I cannot place kind of anywhere. There's like no space-ish. There should be space. I'm not really sure why it's saying there's no space. Okay, here we go. There. Construction of an airship potential. Alright. Recycling drone, which requires the airship. So here's one recycling drone. I'm not sure what it what it does. Travels along rivers and collects recycled material from loading docks. Wherever those might be. Uh, so we need a loading dock. Loads recycled material from surrounding buildings. Okay. From surrounding buildings. Uh, it's not telling me how many buildings there are. Like, what kind of buildings? Like, these buildings? Like, the silo? Provides recycling. Oh, so, this silo. Okay, so we need to build silos. Sorry. Silos. Removes other buildings and stores a portion of their cost. So, this just flat out removes the buildings. Which, I guess, aren't doing anything anymore, are they? Once you place them? So, I should just place it... And then I get a bunch of stuff? Oh! So, that actually makes a lot of sense. You can't just magically remove or delete things. Oh, there's little animals now! As the, as the world is becoming more populated, we're seeing animals. Aww! Yay! And the music is actually a little charming. So we use the silo, and then this thing will travel along the riverbanks and collect from this... But, yeah, okay. And then what is this? But we need a loading dock. A loading dock loads recycled material from surrounding buildings and silos into a recycling drone. So... Oh, but I think I, I want multiples of these, though. So, like... I kind of want to get rid of, like, all of this. Yeah. And then, so this actually will store from all of these things. I think, I think all of them, it might just be that one. And then now I get recycled material. No, it did! And it recycled from the silos. And now that it, okay, so there's like a system to things. Was that a frog sound? Okay. And then a pound lock. Allows recycling drones to travel up and down waterfalls. Um, I don't think I really need that, so we're all good for now. But here we go, this is the start of the reclamation. Oh, and percentage of buildings that have been recycled and loaded to their ship. And now, oh, so now once you build the environment, it's now the challenge to leave, to let it live. Wow. Terra Nil, wow. <laughs> you really, there's something ludo narrative about that. Um, there's something beautiful about that. That you actually have to gamify it um, and, and play it. That's awesome. So yeah, now now the goal is to, now that you have all this environment, um, you might have to continue to build um, based on how much green power energy you have, but you now have to leave. Um, so that's, you know, building silos and stuff and things. So this is, you know, these buildings. So you want to still build them by the river. This is going to be these, this building... 
I don't know if that's good enough because this river doesn't connect them. I have to actually build more into that. Possibly. Into into that. Um, there's a silo down here, so I'm going to have to cleave and make another river down here. But... And then a silo down here. Possibly. Yeah, but this is still a challenge in itself. And then that's the wind condition, I think. Wow. That's super neat, dude. <laughs> that's really cool. Okay, so I can actually begin by doing that. And actually, I think if I do it like this, that'll go right to it. Uh, oh, kind of reaching, kind of. Yeah, and then I think if I do this, but then I'm going to have to silo those things. So I'm going to have to build like another silo like here. But that worked, really. Yeah, I can get all these right here. Oh, but I'm running out of green juice. And then we could do this to get both of them. Oh, no, not quite. Not quite. Okay, so uh, there's two silos here, so I might actually need to do one more. Wow, so this this was Terranil, though. Oh, no energy. Oh, there's no energy over here. Oh, my God, the game is actually kind of challenging for reals. This is crazy. All right, and yeah, I just do this. Which leaves me with 60, which I'm, I'm running out of juice though, but just trying to show off the game. And then the water should come. The water should come any day. It's not because, wait, is it not level? Oh, I think this was elevated. Did I goof? <laughs> totally, 100% did goof, but I can actually do this. But then I have to do another. <laughs> it's so complicated. Wow. Anyways, guys, so... That is my first impressions of Terra Nil. This um this really adorable, this cute game that actually I think punches way above its weight class for a minimalistic reverse city builder thing. Um wow, it's actually gorgeous. I love the music. And I'm feeling things. And this is totally the game that I could see myself coming onto like late at night and maybe making my nights a little later. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. But much love, friends and family. And I'll see you in the next one.